I'd like to call the meeting to order. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Laverne Planning Commission May 31st, 2016 regular meeting at 6 p.m. We do have a quorum. Our first action is to approve or disapprove the minutes from the April 26, 2016 regular meeting. Make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Minutes pass. Our first item under old business recommendation to the Board of Mayor and Alderman request for subdivision acceptance for phase eight of McFarland Point requested by William Shipp. 21 lots on 16.9 acres, property located along Ben Hill Boulevard, Plat Book 28, page 248, R1 Low Density Residential Zoning District, property owned by MFD1, Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Since the workshop, the punch list has been completed satisfactorily. We have received the dedication form and the maintenance letter of credit. So tonight, all technical items have been addressed for phase eight. Do we have any questions or comments from the board? For that, I'll take a motion to send a favorable or unfavorable recommendation to Aaron Alderman. I move. We have a motion for a favorable? Favorable recommendation. Favorable recommendation to the board of mayor and Alderman. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, it is passed. We'll be sending a favorable recommendation. Our next item of business is a site plan. Archangel Michael Church, requested by Father Khalil and Stephen Krauss, proposed parking lot improvement and installation of a mobile classroom unit. Four acres, property located at 173 Cherokee Drive, tax map 017C, group E, parcel 27. <coughs> R1 Low Density Residential Zoning District, property owned by Archangel Michael Church, Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If you recall at the workshop, we had a number of technical items. I believe there were eight. They have all been addressed as of this evening. The other concerns that were brought up were the water and sewer connection and the, uh, the facade of the structure. Those, of course, are still Nothing is nothing has changed since the um, since the workshop regarding those. I do have a that is the image that they had submitted that was, I showed at the workshop, and it is a 37 by 60, and I did pass out the it's the Benjamin Moore Golden Gate color which is proposed for the structure to match the church, and Father Khalil and his engineer are here. Should you have any questions? Any questions or comments from the board? I do. If the applicant, the applicant stand up, I'll appreciate it, please. Well, Father Khalil, if you come to the podium and state your name and address for the record. State your name and address, sir. Father Cherubim Khalil, 173 Cherokee Drive, Laverne, Tennessee. Thank you, sir. You are. My question is, going back to the workshop, we were discussing that the, the planned building does have a restroom in it. Uh, have you still uh, reconsidered about connecting the, the, uh, the restroom? What, what's your plan is there to do that? Well, we're not going to do it now, but we can consider it for the next plan with the second building one we have. We discussed, as we discussed it last time, and we agreed on that. So. Uh, I just want to, my, my thoughts on that, I still have a concern with not connecting that, that system. That I, that's the problem I do have with the whole setup. Wait until the next one comes around. We don't know when that's going to be. And I just have a concern that uh, if the unit has the facilities, they should be connected up. Any other questions or comments? We don't have a, a, a actual physical piece of this rendition, this color. Um, no, we picked up the color and uh, no one asked us for the actual piece of it. But it's, uh, we had the same thing when we did the new building and we had to match the color of the bricks because the bricks that we had on the building was from 68. So and it came up nice and it came up good. And if we can pick the color and show it to you if, or the engineer, if it's not matching, we can change it, but I'm sure it's gonna be matching with the color. It's just uh, traditionally, we, they usually bring an actual rendition of it, but that's, that's fine. Now, were you planning on painting or bricking? Is this the color of the paint that you're going to use for the structure, or are you going to, is this the color of the brick that you're going to use on the structure? I think we went last time for, uh, for color as painting, if I'm not mistaken. Any other questions or comments? No, 
with that, I will entertain a motion on this item. Uh, extra utilities not being connected, notwithstanding, um, with all technical items being met, I make a motion to approve. A motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second it. A second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? We're gonna aye. Do a, Let me go to roll call. We're going to do a roll call. Ms. Yvonne? Aye. Mr. King? <coughs> no. Mr. Anderson? Aye. Mr. Jones? Aye. I will vote no. Aye. And Mr. No. So the ayes have it. Approved. Thank you so much. Now our next item of business. Site plan, Tennessee Valley Ice, requested by St. John Engineering, proposed 6,880 square foot distribution facility, 0 0.98 acres, property located at 321 Mason Road, tax map 017, parcel 17, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Tandem Investments, LLC. Ms. Costanza. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this item has actually been asked to be deferred to June's meeting. Excellent. Our first item under new business, site plan, compass self-storage requested by Huddleston Steel, proposed 10,000 square foot storage building, 3.47 acres, property located at 461 Waldron Road, tax map 017J, group A, parcel 24, C2 Highway Services Commercial Zoning District, property owned by Amsdale Storage Ventures, XL, LLC, Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We had eight technical items at the workshop. They have all been addressed, including the calculations for drainage and the fire hydrant. So we have no technical items to address tonight. Any questions or comments? No technical items to address and make a motion to accept as submitted. I have a motion to accept as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Ayes have it. Our next item of business, under new business, final plat, Metanic properties requested by JMC Surveying, Surveying and Linda Metanic, proposed two lot subdivision, 0 0.54 acres, property located at 125 Sunset Drive, tax map 018A, Group A, Parcel 3, R2 Medium Density Residential Zoning District, property owned by Robert and Linda Matnick. Let me get this right. Ms. Costanza. Uh, Mr. Chairman, if you recall at the workshop, it was identified that there's a need to go to the Board of Zoning Appeals for the second structure on this property. So this item has asked, been, has asked to been deferred till June to uh, accommodate that need. Excellent. Our next item of business, rezoning of property requested by Michael Tesfahuni, 2.28 acres, property located at 5227 Murfreesboro Road. Tax map 015M, Group F, Parcel 7, Current Zoning C1, Government Use Commercial, pr Proposed Zoning C2, Highway Services Commercial, Property Owned by Laverne Plaza, LLC, Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At the workshop itself, we were missing two items, the label matrix and the signed letter authorizing the rezoning from the property owner. I have received both of those items since the workshop, so I don't have any technical items to to address. However, I do not see anyone present, um, and I was informed from Mr. Tesfahuni that he was going to be here tonight to discuss this item. I don't see him. And I know that at the workshop we did have some concerns about the school. Again, we are just looking at a favorable or unfavorable recommendation tonight from C2, to C2 from C1. Um, the only thing I would highlight is at, at least as far as the, um, the concerns about the school, we do have the municipal code, which does preclude any liquor or similar noxious uh, establishments from being located next door. And any significant redevelopment of this property would require a site plan and, and adherence to the overlay district regulations. So I just wanted to put that out there to light those types of concerns, but Again, we are looking for a favorable or unfavorable recommendation tonight. Any questions or comments from the board? 
I'm just going to go back to what we said at the workshop. It, it, the concern is changing the zoning does open up for other areas of what can go in that property if we do get rezoned to their request. I agree. And he was not at the workshop, was nope. he? He was not. <coughs> I would have liked to discuss this further with he the, did the he owner and the property owner, to be honest with right. you. Would that mean to be rezoning? I mean, uh, what it is, I was making a recommendation to defer. Let's just to defer it and see what they say. Just leave it at that. All right. On a recommendation to defer, do we vote or do we just defer? I think a vote would probably be the yeah. most proper thing to do to just cover all your bases on that. Very good, sir. I have a motion to defer this item until next month's meeting so we can discuss it a little bit further at workshop. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Item is deferred until next month. I'm so sorry. Who was the second? I apologize. Mr. Jones. Our next item of business, Site Plan Waldron Business Park, Lot 2, requested by T-Square Engineering and Mickey Mitchell, proposed 13,000 storage, square foot storage building, 6.16 acres, property located behind 125 Industrial Boulevard, Tax map 017, parcel T.12, I2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Mickey Mitchell. Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we had looked at this at the workshop. There were two very minor uh, technical items which have been addressed since this, since this previous workshop. So the, um, again, the, the, main, the main point was that the applicant decided to widen the drive to 30 feet throughout the site. So we have no technical items tonight to discuss. Thank you. Yes, sir. Chris, here. With, with all technical items being addressed, and I appreciate the, the developer wanted to what our recommendation was. I'll make a recommendation we approve as submitted. I have a recommendation to approve as submitted. Do I have a second? Second. A second. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Our next item of business. Site plan, Shell's mini storage facility, requested by Huddleston Steel and Gerald Shell, proposed 9,000 square foot mini storage facility on 2.11 acres, property located at 599 Waldron Road, tax map 029, parcel 2.04, I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by Gerald Shell. Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This item had previously been withdrawn and resubmitted due to a lot of technical items. As we know, this is the location where the church burned in the rear, and that is the location of the proposed storage facility. Again, we did have about 10, 10 technical items, and all of them have been addressed as of this evening. I do have in your packet a submitted uh, color palette for the trim, the building itself, and the doors that are proposed for this facility. I will state uh, the applicant and the owner really wanted to go with teal doors, and I persuaded them to change it to forest green, which is a little bit more of a traditional uh, storage color, I suppose you could say. Um, and if you look at the screen as well, this is, of course, the Fire station, you can see where we are at the ro at Waldron Road. It, we're talking way in the rear here. Again, we really need to turn these lights off probably for these pictures to come out, so I apologize. But uh, we've got several hundred feet from the edge of the road to the facility. In fact, with the gatehouse, this is, I'm going to just show you a series of photos as we go down. This is sitting at the roadway. You can see from the roadway, there's the existing multi-tenant commercial building. There's some parking. You can't even see the gatehouse from this distance. OK, this is looking from in front of the gatehouse up towards Waldron Road. Again, here's that multi-unit building, some parking. This is the existing building that's being used by a builder that sits in front of where the storage facility will be. That's the tank behind it. You can see the striped parking. The purpose is just to show you the distance and the topography. Here is the tan building. They've got a uh, green door. It's got a, this is the only location that you'll be able to see um, one of the units from. And so that is the reason that they did go with the tan and the forest green, because there may be a, a slight bit of visibility of one building. So they did 
agree to change it to four screen for that purpose. So I just wanted to show you those photos. Um, and Enoch is here on behalf of the project should you have any questions. Well, question for staff, so, so that the, the, the door, uh, the, the color is as marked on the single sheet of paper and not rendition of the large sheet of paper. So obviously the greens look different to me. On, on, in other words, you're, you're, showing, you're showing us this picture. Just showing us, and then you got on here. You got this screen. It appears to be darker. It's just the the printer, really. It, yeah. Yes. So, so we're going to be using the, the screen as listed on the. Janus. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right, the forest screen on the Janus. They do look the same on the screen. I will say that. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Okay. As we. Uh, well, Mr. I guess we can discuss this when we, if we I guess we can discuss it when we get down to when we don't have it on here. I, I just think that we, in, in the past, we've had an actual rendition, and I think that we, need to, we don't need to get away from that because that tells me uh, exactly what it is because, I, 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 again, with him, I'm seeing two different colors, uh, even with the, with the trailer. You know, I'm seeing all different colors. So I would, I would prefer us get back to the uh, get back to the bringing something in like a sample board yeah yeah material? exactly okay. exactly yeah, preferably what you're going to use for the door mm -hmm. and just swipe it with the paint I mean the same type metal so yeah. they'll know exactly what we're going to be looking at and I'm not sure if, if uh, Tammy sent those to you or not I mean no I guess and, not, and but, actually yeah. that's something we've been discussing about adding into the regulations we have it's not actually to provide a a hard sample of the material is not actually what we require. It's something that we had gotten into when we talked about Blue Beacon and when we talked about A plus storage, and they did go ahead and do that for us. And we and we should, if we're going to require it in the future, we need to add that into our regulations. Okay. So they've been doing it out of, uh, I guess, a good a good sense of faith. But um, we don't actually require them to bring in a hard sample, but. If we want to go that way in the future, I, I mean, will that's, that's fine, and I acknowledge that, and that's why I'm saying uh, mm -hmm. I still will, I'm okay with it, mm -hmm. uh, with, with, it, with it as is, but I'm saying, I, that's why I looked, I thought we had the uh, regulation back on here, so when we do get the regulation back on here, maybe that's one that needs to be uh, added to it. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Well, I'll make a recommendation to approve a submitted using the forest screen as a code of the doors. I have a recommendation to approve a submit a motion to approve a submitted using the forest green. Forest green as the color of the doors. Do I have a second? A second. A second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Our next item of business. Preliminary plat Southway Industrial Park, requested by Huddleston Steel and Danny Jones. Proposed utility extension on 8.53 acres, property located between Jones Boulevard and Bain Drive and known as Southway Industrial Business Park, lots 7 and 8. Tax map 017, parcel 7.15 and 7.16. I-2 Heavy Industrial Zoning District, property owned by JKW LLC and Waldron Enterprises LLC. Ms. Cassandra. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we had a number of items at the workshop, mostly pertaining to the fact that this was supposed to be a preliminary plat and not a amended final plat. The, the plat itself has been updated to reflect the requirements that we, that we have for preliminary plats, including topo, um, all of the easements, the fire hydrant. Uh, we do have a fire truck turnaround added. So as of tonight, all of the technical items have been addressed for this preliminary plat. Questions or comments from the board? So we're happy that the 100 feet is wide enough to turn the vehicle around? Yep. Any other questions or comments? Make a motion to accept the submitted with all the technical items been addressed. I have a motion to accept the submitted. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Our next item of business, site plan, building addition at Laverne First Baptist Church, requested by Huddleston Steel and Bill Thomason, proposed entry tower and covered walkway on 5.8 acres, pro property located at 375 Old Nashville Highway, tax map 017D, Group D, 
parcel 17, R1 Low Density Residential Zoning District, property owned by Laverne First Baptist Church. Ms. Costanza. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We had just a couple items that were missing from the workshop. They have submitted their drainage calculations and additional information. Again, the um, I know there was some discussion about the signage, but that will be uh, that will be handled by the codes department when they come in for a sign permit. So we have no technical items to address tonight for the First Baptist Church. Any questions or comments on this item from the board? I'll entertain a motion. The technical items been addressed in the channel. Make a motion to accept the submitted. We have a motion to accept the submitted. Do I have a second? Second. A second. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? <coughs> yeah, let's have it. Passes. Our next item of business is bonds and letters of credit. Mr. Brown. Mr. Chairman, everything is up to date at uh, Pinnacle Point Phase 2. It will expire on August 7th. I'll be in contact with the developer to get that extended. Uh, that, that phase is almost at the 90% completion mark also. So more than likely within the next month or two or maybe even three, the developer will probably ask for acceptance and get that uh, maintenance bond. There we go. Any other questions or comments? The meeting's adjourned.